The scanner we're using here is considered the fastest possible scanner um, available for use. The heart is a constantly moving object and with this particular scanner that is extremely fast, we're able to capture relatively still images of the coronary arteries for analysis while giving the patient much less radiation than other scanners that are available. The scanner in itself, because of its ability to be relatively fast compared to other scanners, will provide us ability to image patients even when the heart rate is not optimal. Um, and we look forward to being able to offer this kind of service in patients for whom we wish we would have been able to do it, but because of difficulty with heart rate, we were not able to offer before. I think the scanner will overcome those difficulties. What we really would like is a normal, predictable, regular heart rate, uh, generally 60 beats per minute or less. It is very routine that we would give patients some medicine to help slow down the heart rate uh, safely and then image the patient while their heart rate is temporarily slowed. Once the heart rate's slower, it affords us all the capabilities of the scanner in reducing radiation. When done right, a cardiac CT is better than any other non-invasive modality in telling a patient they do not have coronary artery disease. Classic way of looking at CAT scans, we call this axial view. For a large population of our patients who have symptoms in whom we're trying to figure out do they have coronary disease or not, it turns out population studies have shown that vast majority will not, but to get there has been um, somewhat of a struggle depending on what modalities you're using. I think this is a new modality that really helps us deal with that. You know, we really have a package here that can take care of that for patients who are looking to have coronary artery di disease diagnosed or looking to get supportive information that's critical to the kind of procedures they're gonna be getting. You have normal looking abdominal aorta and the major branches that come off it including the renal arteries. If we're able to tell patients that they don't have disease at all, uh, the chances of having any kind of heart-related problem in the next five years is almost zero. For patients who have no disease at all or minimal disease, it is um, oftentimes a big sigh of relief because we know it definitively. I think we're gonna see a trend where the providers for these patients step up the preventive care and uh, focus more on lifestyle type of changes aimed at improving patients' overall heart health. For patients in whom we actually find that there is disease which could cause enough impedance of blood flow into the heart muscle, this is where the test is likely to be followed with a detailed evaluation with a cardiologist. There is in fact increasing use of the cardiac CT technology to support procedures that are becoming more complex and being done with more careful understanding of the heart anatomy period, and that will definitely grow.